Well, hello there, folks. DJ Bergstar here, back with another tip of the day. This is going to be a real short tip, but what I want to do is explain how you can breathe life into one of your instruments using this envelope MIDI. Now, in your MIDI effects folder, you will find envelope MIDI. So what I've done is I put together a simple melody line and I'm going to show you how I can breathe life into this instrument using this envelope MIDI. Um, let me show you what it sounds like without it. Now next to this track I also have a duplicate track that I've lowered it by an octave because it's a little thin this instrument by itself so this is just sort of helping the thickness of the machine here. All right, that's, you know, sort of a regular boring uh, melody line. Um, and let me show you what I did. I duplicated the exact same thing, except this time I've edited this envelope MIDI. And let's see what that sounds like. You can see that all the controls here are being modulated by this envelope MIDI. And how that's done is, if you click here, you can see that you can modulate up to eight parameters, which is nice. So basically, I just started clicking and modulating all of these, and you can have a percentage on how much it's going to modulate, and that's important too, so you can sort of dial in the sound you really want. Um, so what we'll do is, is we'll just do it again on this track from scratch so you can see how I did it and how simple and easy that was. Um, so what you do is, is you turn the machine on, you come down here and you just start mapping. So I'm going to do the first one to cut off, next one to the filter, the resonance, and then this morph. And why not put it on the reverb and the glide and the delay. And that's what I did on the other one. Now. I'm going to change some of these percentages right away because I know that I don't want it going from 0 to 100 on all these. I'm not exactly sure what I need yet, so what I'll do is, is I'll just kind of start playing it and then dial these in as it's going to find the sound I want, which shouldn't take us very long. So let's play it. Now, this filter cutoff seems to be the most important one to dial in. So, if you get this one right, you'll really get that ramp sound that I like. Let's see if we can dial that in. All right, so that's how easy it is to sort of modulate all these parameters with just this one envelope MIDI. Um, now, I'll just add my little bass line and drums here, not that uh, this is some great track or anything, but you can hear what this sounds like. Now if I turn the machine off, see it loses all that character that I that we added. So that's a fun little device and it doesn't have to be done on a melody line. You can have 
even lush chords that are sort of changing over time. Um, and you can slow the rate down a lot. So it's, you know, it, it's doing these things slower and, and uh, you can get more of an ethereal sound if you're using just a static chord. Um, but for these lead lines, it's really great too because you get that ramp up and you get a lot of feel into your song. So that's my quick tip of the day. Um, and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. DJ Bergstar out.